is everybody doing today? This is Mickey. Well, it's been a few weeks since I made a video. Been out there playing with family and friends in the sun and leading a couple groups for nighttime and landscape photography. But summer's coming to an end. Fall's coming, so we're all going to be out there taking a whole lot of pictures. So I thought I would start producing some more videos. This week's video, I want to talk about importing photographs into Lightroom. When I'm teaching new students or when somebody has an issue with importing, I always teach this method. There are other methods that, that are taught, typically the one that Adobe recommends and that a lot of photographers uh, use. But when I first started with Lightroom, I used Adobe's method and it seems like every now and then I would forget the process or I would import a photograph or a group of photographs and couldn't find them where I thought I had imported them. I talked to a wise Lightroom sage once and told him the problem that I had and he suggested this method. This was eight or nine years ago. I've been using it ever since and I have never lost or misplaced a photograph on import since using this method. More importantly, the people that I've taught this to, they always tell me that it has really helped them and that they too have never struggled to import photographs once using this method. Now, I did not create this method. It's been in use for quite a while, but I don't think a lot of people have ever seen it. And once you see it, you'll find that it's five easy steps that will end up putting your photograph exactly where you want it to be. Now, that being said, if you have a method that really, really works for you, that you never struggle with importing and you never forget the process and it's just like rote memory, please stick to that method. But if you don't fall into that category, you can't remember exactly what to do when you've stepped away from the computer for several weeks or you have imported photographs and can't find or remember where you imported them, try this method and see how it works for you. I guarantee you, It'll lighten up the load when importing uh, photographs into Lightroom, and you'll find it a much easier process. All right, so let's get started. The first thing we want to do is kind of set up the default values. Now, this method is based on a premise on how we file our photographs. So let me show you how I do it. I have one main folder. We'll just call it Working Photos, and I have one main folder for every year. Within that folder, I put my uh, imports by subject matter or location and the date that I imported them. All right, so I don't have a different folder for different subject matters. I have one main folder and uh, for per year and under that I have it by subject matter and by date. If yours is different, this method will still work. You just have to follow the basic concepts to import them in the method that you like to use. All right, to start out with, we need to set some default values for our import process. Once we set these, we really don't have to make any changes to them again, except for maybe keywords. All right, to start the process, we're going to click the import button. That's going to bring up the import screen. And as you can see, we have a, 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 this source here, but we don't need to be bothered with the source right now. We want to start with how we're going to bring them in, and we're going to use copy. Next, we're going to go to the right hand side and we're going to pick what type of previews. This is solely up to you. Uh, I use standard. You know, we have uh, minimal embedded standard and one to one. If you have any questions about what previews and how to import them, let me know. I have a document that will spell all that out for you. Then I also don't import suspected duplicates check because I don't want to bring the same picture in twice. I don't really have any file re renaming that I do. I don't have any develop settings and I'll put keywords in as I'm getting ready to, to import and I'll show you that in just a second. We really don't need to pick a destination. All we need to do is make sure that we organize into one folder. Now if you like to organize into one folder by date also, you can go ahead and click by date. But I just don't use that process. I just put everything into the folder that I create. Once we have all that information in, we don't need to do anything else. All we have to do is click done. From this point forward, there should be no need to ever click the import button again. The only time I click the import button is if I want to change my default import values. All right. So how do we import if we're not going to click the import button? Well, we go up to our main folder that our subfolders are stored under and we right click. We choose 
create folder inside working folders. And here we'll just say, this is gonna be a test import, uh, and we'll put today's date. What is the 1st of September? All right, and we hit create. Nothing else needs to be selected. When we do that, you see that the folder is automatically created within our catalog, all right? So we're going to click right click again. And if you're a Mac and you don't have a, a mouse that can right click, control click, click will do the same thing. So right click and choose import to this folder. This will now bring up the import screen. The next thing to do is to choose the source. All right, and we're gonna choose the card that I have in my machine. And here are the pictures and I'm gonna just by default, select all these photographs for import. I don't need to make any changes up here if I don't want to, all right? If you want to do a file renaming, you can do that. And I'm just going to put test import as my keywords. If I could spell. And as you notice, our destination is already selected. That's the secret of this process. When we create it uh, in the prior screen and import to this folder, this is where people get confused. They come over here and either forget to choose the destination or they fat finger it and choose the wrong destination. Using this method, it's pre-selected for you. Test import, there's nothing more for you to do. Nothing more than click import. And as you can see, it's copying and importing the photos. It brings them in. Let's reduce the size of these a little bit. And they're all stored in the correct location. Test imports 9-1-20-25. Very, very simple. Now we're going to go through this again because, you know, repeatedly doing something over and over again and the method uh, that I've read in one of Malcolm Gladwell's book, uh, The Tipping Point, is that you have to do it 5,000 times before it comes muscle memory. We don't have that kind of time. Maybe in your lifetime you'll be able to do it. But we're just going to re remove this, just like this. We're going to move them all, and we're going to start over and go through this process again. All right. So we are in the regular library mode in Lightroom. We're going to go to the main folder where we'll store our photographs, our new folder. We're going to right click or control click and say create folder inside working folders. Then we're going to click create the folder. Call it test photos two and create. Now we're going to go to that folder we just created, click on it and then right click or control click and say import to this folder. Again, we're going to pick our source. All the photographs are pre-selected. If there's some you don't want to import, of course, you can take those out at this point. Make sure it says copy. We have this as our default value, so there's nothing I need to do. If we want to add keywords, we add the keywords that we need right here. Everything else is already selected for us, and we click import. And there you have it. Very easy way, very simple way and five easy steps for you to import photographs into Lightroom and have them go exactly where you want them to go. I hope this helped out. Like I said, if it's not a method that you feel comfortable with, please, please don't change the way you import. If your way works for you, fine. If you are struggling, give this a shot. Let me know how it works for you. I'd be glad to help out any other way I can. And as usual, I can't wait to talk to you again.